Hi, in this video, we're going to talk about Kakebo, the Japanese art of saving money. Kakebo roughly translates into household ledger in Japanese. It's a very simple method to improving your financial well being, and the beauty of Kakebo is that anybody can start following it. All you need is a notebook and a pen, and then some amount of reflection to decide how much money you have available for spending, how much money you would like to save, and through the process of recording your expenses, you will notice how much money you are actually spending. And at the end of the month, you can reflect to see how you can improve in the next month. The beauty of Kakebo, again, is that categorizing expenses is very simple. There are four main buckets. The first one is needs for all essential items. The second one is wants for non-essential items. The third one is culture, which could be something like going to a museum. And all other expenses fall into the bucket of uh, others. Another key element in Kakebo is reflecting before you make a non-essential expense. By doing this, you become more conscious of what your non-essential expenses are and you can actually find it easier to trim down these expenses when you realize that they're not aligned with your interests. So you could uh, use some of these questions to reflect on your non-essential expenses. So the first question you could ask yourself is, can I live without this item? And then ask yourself whether you can afford it based on your current financial situation. And then comes practicality. Will you actually end up using this item? Is it going to serve some purpose in your life? And then comes, do I have the space for it? So whenever we make a purchase, it's important to be able to take care of our possessions. For a lot of us, we end up buying clothes or accessories for which we don't really have the space and something falls into neglect because of this purchase. Another interesting question to ask yourself would be to understand how you came across this item in the first place. Uh, in today's age of digital marketing, you're going to see a lot of ads for something that you browse on Amazon or another uh, website once. You will see it everywhere else. So if you can trace back the origin of where you came across a particular product, you might be able to decide whether you want to buy it or not. And another interesting aspect would be to understand your own emotional state at that point in time when you're contemplating a purchase. And then understanding how you would feel about buying it. Would you feel happy? Would you feel excited about owning this? Uh, would you feel fulfilled after you buy it? And how long is this emotion really going to last? The Kakebo method is quite simple. All you have to do is first set a saving goal and then an expense goal. And every day as you're making expenses, it's important to jot this down with that pen and notepad that you started out with. Then you do a weekly roundup of expenses under each category and a monthly roundup to measure against the targets that you set in the beginning. To know more about Kakebo, you could refer to the links in the description of this video.